No matter how good you are, no matter how fast you are, no matter how smart you are, no matter how strong you are, there is always someone out there who will be bigger, faster, smarter, or stronger. So what do you do? You can't always control who or what you're up against, but you can always control your effort. You must outwork every single one of those people you're competing with. When you find yourself up against other people and see yourself falling behind, are you the person who gives up and gives in? Are you the person who starts making excuses for why you're not doing as much as you could? Are you the person who finds it a reason to start doing things you're not supposed to? Taking breaks? Slacking off? Sleeping in? Eating like crap? Or are you the one who sees opportunity? The opportunity to get ahead of everyone else. The opportunity to work harder and perform better when it's game time. The opportunity to improve yourself and hold yourself accountable to what you know you can achieve if you really tried your hardest. In the shadows and darkness when most people are still in bed or have gone home already. Where you fight to become the best version of yourself every damn day. It's that process of pushing yourself to perform better. That's what stretches you to reach higher and higher levels. You don't become number one by taking it easy. You become number one by pushing yourself to the outer limits of your capabilities. It's these quiet, unseen moments that legends are made. You're not there to participate. You're there to f***ing dominate. You gotta refuse to accept that you are what you are and that what your life is like now is what you're doomed to be forever. No, you fight. You scratch and claw every day to improve. Just a little bit. Weeding out all those weaknesses you have sneaking around in your brain. You weed those out with discipline. Forcing yourself to execute on your mission for the day. Doing those hard things you have resistance from doing. And as you shut down those weaknesses, as you continue to prune out all the fickle feelings of laziness, you are literally building mental strength. You become tougher through completion. When you get hard stuff done, it builds your belief in your vision. It builds belief in your company. It builds belief in your ideas. It builds belief in yourself. So while most people are sitting around waiting for change, making all these amazing plans for how to revolutionize their lives and become better, you get your up and get to work. Plans don't change people. Action changes people. So make movement. Move forward every day of your life. If they make 10 sales, you make 20. If they work eight hours, you work 10. Whatever they do, I need you to do just a little more because when you add up all those extra bits of effort day after day after day, that's going to make the difference between winning and losing. When others start slacking off, making excuses, you see a golden opportunity. It's your chance to double down, to push harder when everyone else is easing up. Every setback, every obstacle is a chance to show what you're made of. It's a chance to toughen up to hone your skills, to rise above the bullshit. You might not control the raw talent, but you sure as hell control the effort. It's about grinding harder, pushing further, sweating more. It's about turning every damn ounce of your being into a relentless pursuit of excellence. You become the nightmare of everyone in your field because while they're resting on their laurels, you're out there, grinding, improving, outworking every single one of them. You don't just aim to keep up. You aim to leave them all in dust. I dominate. When I die, you ain't gonna forget my name. I dominate this doggone thing. I dominate. Where I go, stuff happen. I dominate. If you gonna win, you just can't play this game. Cause there are other teams that wanna do exactly what you gotta do. So what you gotta do in practice is dominate in practice. Some of y'all, that's your problem. You think that you can dominate when the lights come on. If you can't dominate in practice, you can't dominate when the lights come on. I get up every morning at three o'clock. I dominate at three o'clock in the morning. I dominate when everybody sleep. I dominate at four in the morning, six in the morning. Why? Cause y'all just getting up. I dominate in the dark. 
I dominate when nobody sees me. Because you just got to get there before the genius get there. They ain't waking up to eight. So if you get up at three, you ain't got to be smarter than them. You just got to be quicker than them. You just got to be faster than them. You just got to get to the spot before they get to the spots. You ain't got to be them. You ain't got to be on their level. You don't have to be as smart. You don't have to become them. You can stay you, but you got to get there before they get there if you're going to stay you. Are we the underdogs? Good. That's where legends rise. They overlook us, we overperform. They doubt us, we outdo. We keep moving, we keep pushing, unstoppable. Let's call our names right here and right now. I guarantee you, when I line up and they line up, I want what all other men want. But when the challenge hits, when the opposition hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want it a little bit more than they want it. And if you ain't got more heart than me, if you ain't been working harder than me, if you ain't sacrificed more than me, I'm gonna destroy you. And so that's how I conquer, and that's how nobody has ever beaten me yet. Like when you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. I need you to eat, sleep, breathe, dominate. We're not playing to the level of our competition no more. You're gonna look at film in a way that they don't look at film. You're going to practice in a way they don't practice. Listening to coach, paying attention, being locked in and focused. Everything you do is going to be in a way that nobody else does. You can't win it if you can't see it. You got to see each one. You got to see yourself winning in practice. You got to see yourself winning the game. The championship, you got to see yourself. Wake up every single day. I was here before I was here. I was in this spot right here. I was talking for right here. I envisioned it. I saw it already. I'll see it before it happens. Discipline means that you dominate when you feel like it and you dominate when you don't feel like it. What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do without somebody there to supervise you or you get to take the playoff because no one's going to know the difference? Those are the things that make up success and that's discipline. You have to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know it needs to be done. Train hard. Push limits, learn every single day. That's our backbone. That's our hustle. This is our turn, our unwavering will. Every tackle, every move is for something bigger. Discipline is you do it so long and so hard and you're so passionate about it that even when you don't feel like it, you still operate at the highest level. Embrace the process, trust the process, but most importantly, you gotta respect the process. Talent would never supersede it. If we respect it the way we say we respect it, if we love it the way we say we love it, if we cherish it the way we say we cherish it, Every single day should be nothing less than excellence. You might not always be your best, but you can always bring me your best. It's about outworking, outlasting, and outperforming. Not just others, but your past self. It's about the relentless pursuit of excellence, the unyielding discipline, and the unstoppable force of taking action every single day. You gotta know why you're out here, cause you're gonna get kicked by life. When the storms of life come, and they're gonna come when life pounces on you and that's gonna happen. When it catches you on the blind side and drops you to your knees and that's gonna happen. When your plans don't work out, when you start running out of money, when you wanna give up, your reasons will be your source of strength that will comfort you. Your reasons are the things that will help you get back up and try once again. That moment of extreme adversity, is the best moment for audacity. It's the moment where you can flip everything and turn every trial you have right now into treasure. Sometimes you need to step back, meditate, and recharge. Sometimes you gotta go away for a little while. Clear your head, view your situation from a different angle, and try another approach. Don't ever claim that you're a failure. You're only ever a failure when you stop trying. Thomas Edison said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. As long as you're trying, you have another chance to win. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional creatures, but you've got to learn to discipline your emotions, discipline your thinking, staying focused on the goal, and not allowing your feelings and unproductive thoughts to get in the way of your progress. If you don't discipline and control your emotions and thoughts, they will use you. You must have faith. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in your abilities, your ideas, your vision, unquestionably. 
And when you get punched in the face by life and you feel broken inside, you got to be able to say to yourself, I've got to do this. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is why I showed up. You got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potential. And all I want you to do every day is just say to yourself, when you feel that inner negative conversation saying, you can't do it, you got to shut that voice down. Tell it to shut up. Tell yourself, I can handle this. I can do this. I can get through this. I want you to stand up inside of yourself and demand that no matter how many failures I endure, I must keep going. No matter how many rejections I have to face, I must keep going. Regardless of the trials and tribulations that come against me, I must keep going. You get up every day, you look in the mirror, and you tell yourself, I'm a bad, and one way or another, I'm going to make it happen today. This challenge I'm facing, this pain I'm going through, this is a test. This is the day I'm going to find out if my goals really are my goals. You're going to get up, you're going to get dressed, you're going to get out, and you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you've been called to be. And you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to stop you. Everybody that tried to kill your dream, you're going to prove all of them wrong. I'm going to show them all they're wrong because I'm the champion. I'm going to prove I'm the greatest. There will never be another like me. Champions aren't born. They're made through grit, sweat, and unwavering self-belief. It's not about luck. It's about relentless dedication to your craft. When you step out that door, it's not just another day. It is an opportunity to unleash your greatness upon the world. You're not here to settle for mediocrity or to follow the crowd. No, you're here to lead, to set the pace, to show the world what's possible when you refuse to accept anything less than your best. It's about digging deep and understanding that greatness resides within you. You've got to summon it, sometimes even with tears in your eyes, but under no circumstance can you throw in the towel or surrender. The enemy isn't out there. It's in your head, scheming to mess with your mind, to drown you in worries and stress and break your spirit. If you conquer it in your head, you'll conquer it everywhere else. So cry it out if you must, rest it out if you must, take a break if you must, regroup, replan, but never let that fiery belief within you extinguish. It doesn't matter how long it takes or what you have to endure along the way. You're coming out of this mess and you're coming out stronger, wiser, and more determined than ever before. I've been through the depths of despair, hit rock bottom, and felt the sting of defeat. But guess what? I still believe I'm coming out on top. And you should too. Because that unwavering belief, that unbreakable spirit, is what sets champions apart. So keep pushing, keep fighting, and keep believing. Because there's no force in this world that can stand against the power of the determined human spirit. You can delay it, but you cannot destroy it. And as long as you keep moving forward, as long as you can muster enough strength to hold on and hold out, you will see yourself become victorious. When you feel like giving up, don't. When you thinking about giving up, don't. When it look like you ain't gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, who are they? When they tell you you're not gonna make it, don't believe them, man. You got to be relentless. If I can take it, I can make it. The real challenge of growth comes when you get knocked down. How you handle it. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. You keep standing. No matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what you don't give up person that gets up off the canvas and keeps growing, that's the person that will continue to grow their influence. You want to be persistent about what it is that you want to achieve. Alexander Graham Bell said, what this power is, I cannot say. All I know is that it exists and it becomes available only when a man or a woman is in that state of mind in which he or she knows exactly what he or she wants and is fully determined not to quit until they find it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it.
Yes, you have a dream, and the process is not supposed to be comfortable. So if it hurts, if you feel like you're under heat, if you feel like you're being pressured, welcome to the big leagues. And when God looks like he's pulling you back, eventually he's gonna let you go. And the farther he pulls you back, once he releases you, boom! <laughs> the power to hold on in spite of everything, the power to endure, the hunger, the ability to face defeat again and again without giving up. This is a winner's quality. You have that quality within you. Don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. And that's why most people never realize their personal greatness because they're casual about life. And when you are casual about life, you will end up a casualty. Don't get caught up in, well, I tried it four or five times and things didn't work out. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for it, you've got to do whatever is necessary until. When you're hungry, you don't care about the facts. You don't care about the odds. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. I deserve this. I'm going to do it until once you find those things that will make it worth it for you, it is done. You know people, you've seen people that you can predict early on. That person is going to be a diamond. You know it. How they carry themselves, how they take care of business, how do they follow through, how they keep their commitments to their commitment, how they work the system, their energy level, their passion. You know it. The mark is on them. You know it. That one is going to make it. And people must see that in you. And we've all had experiences where we were working on something and we knew it was possible. We took the responsibility to make it happen. Other people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. People were opposing you, but you kept on doing it. It was hard, it was rough, it was difficult, but to you, it was worth it. And eventually you got to a level, you know, and nothing doubling up. I'm on the move. I'm on the move. When nobody's watching, in those early mornings, when it's dark, it's wet, it's cold, you feel tired, you feel sore, it's warm on the couch, what do you do then? I know everybody ain't gonna do what I'm gonna do. This is how you level up. I know there's a whole bunch of people with that right there. That fires me up. That brings joy to my life right there. Because I know there's so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Refuse to study a few more hours. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. And that's where I gain the advantage. No one goes the extra mile and keeps going. I feel like this next generation that's coming up, they seem like a bunch of pussies to me. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. Now I thrive in this. That's the only place to be. There's never been more opportunity than there is right now. If you're a savage and you get out there and you grind hard and you want it bad enough, you can run all these guys over that. I was never the strongest guy. I'm not the fastest guy. I'm not the smartest guy. But I will work and I will work hard. I'll never be in the Olympics. I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. I feel that most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me on a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. I will be up when my competitor's asleep. I will be up when my enemy is curled up in bed. I will be up getting after it. If you can't right now, there's no one looking, man. If no one was looking, I had a chance to sneak in some extra work. To do a little bit more while no one's looking. They'll think I'm, I'm better than I am. So I recommend you do that right now. No one's looking, you're home alone, do more! Do I like the long hours? No. Do I like having to watch a game at three o'clock in the morning? No. But I have to be prepared because I'm addicted to the result. If today you never say good enough, Tomorrow, you'll always have enough. Championships aren't won in the theater of the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, the labs, and the 5 a.m. runs, and the training, whenever else is sleeping. That's when it's won. 
The heart of a champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. Champions aren't found on the podium with their hand up. No. Champions are found in the lab studies with thousands of hours of hard work when no one's watching. That's what makes the will unstoppable. When you're in here and no one else is, and you're pushing yourself harder than anybody with no one around. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, and you do it right, the best of your ability every single time. If you're dusting your countertops, do you dust around the picture frame? Or do you pick the f up and dust the entire thing? Do the job right or don't do it at all. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. How you hold yourself in the small things of life. Build the character winning blocks of the things that we're remembered for. And it begins now with no one looking. How you hold yourself. How you see yourself. What do you do when nobody's watching? If you do it then, I guarantee you'll be doing it when everyone's watching. Execute, execute, execute. And that's what people don't do. They don't execute. Making a freaking plan is the easy part. And you have to understand, if you don't execute on the plan, if you don't get up in the morning when you're feeling tired, scared, if you don't execute, you're not just cheating yourself. You're cheating your family. You're cheating your employees. You're cheating your team. Whatever you're a part of, it's bigger than you, man. Nobody wants to do it. That's the thing. When you look at someone and you say that man or that woman has something that I don't have, nobody woke up with it. They got it from showing up every day and execute. And especially when they don't feel like it. You think that this just happens. You think I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna put in my time, and then I'm gonna be rich. And that ain't what happens. Everyone's always looking for other people to do stuff for them. Stop looking for help from everybody else. It starts and ends with you. You've got to do more. You've got to become valuable. You've got to understand that what you get paid to do is the minimum. And everything on top of that is your investment in your future. So if you're going to stand out, don't do the same thing that everybody else is doing. Separate yourself. You playing against other teams and you're doing exactly what they're doing. Separate yourself. Stop doing what they doing. If you stop doing what they doing, you're going to be a champion. Stop following. No more following. No more doing what everybody else is doing. Set the dog on standards. It's time for y'all to set the standard. If you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well, and becoming the best at it, and mastering myself, and seeing what I have within me, I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. All of us need some area of our lives where we can have a feeling of competence. That people know when they think about this area, that's something you do. That you eat and sleep that. And that you do that. You do that. And people know it. If you begin to work to develop your gifts, you'll develop a strong sense of happiness. You'll get a larger vision of yourself. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. Everything you do, you do it like this is the last time you're going to do it. If you're in bed right now, and you're rolling around, you can't fall asleep, get the by means you haven't done an honest day's work to earn that rest at night. I can put an honest day's work in here that like more than anyone does in a week. And no one sees it, because it's supposed to be that way. This is the means to the ends. It's not the ends. And you're not in here to get an achievement. You're in here to pay up dues, so later in life, you never wonder what it. You know what you got to do to get to paradise? You got to fight like get to paradise. The ones that can fight, the ones that come back, those are the ones that succeed. Those are the icons of the world. There's many legends out there. There's very few icons. Do I want to be here right now? No, I don't want to be here right now. I'm not sure I'll be home watching the game. But later down the road, I don't want to always watch the f***ing game. One day I want to play the game. So by being here now ensures that I'm not going to be a spectator for the rest of my life. That's why I love the f***ing pain and progress. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grinding is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you. When nobody knows what you're doing. When you studying without coach, when you putting in those extra reps, when you watching those videos and you getting inspired, when you change your music, it's the process that makes you sweet. There's people in here far superior than me, but there's no one in here who will work harder than me. We get up at 5.30 in the morning, it's pitching rain outside, our competition's sleeping, I love that. I will not be outworked, period.
where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. While the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. The commodity, the majority of people who aren't achieving the things that they want is strictly based on hustle. It's strictly based on being outworked. It's strictly based on missing crucial opportunities. You might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half after life all the time. I knew they were gonna get tired. They were gonna get down. They quit improving themselves. They start sleeping in. I'm not gonna do that stuff. I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna keep getting wide. I'm gonna stay relentless. I might not be the fastest, the strongest, the smartest, none of that crap, but I'll outwork you and I flat out want it more than you. It's relentlessness, man. It's pushing past barriers. It's every time you get somewhere, it's wanting to go to the next level. You guys are entitled to sh What you're entitled to is an opportunity to show up and be your best. Everyone's like, oh, Craig, you're lucky. You got this, Craig. You're lucky. Everything you do is luck. Bullsh! Because before it was luck. It was a belief. And every day with no one watching at 5 in the morning by myself, I trained it because I believed in it. In hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it off. That's what luck is. That's what success is. Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. You gotta look at how much you're working. You gotta look at how much effort you're making. The intention you're putting out there. You gotta cross the line in life. You gotta go where nobody else wants to go. You gotta work the hours nobody else wants the hours. You have to resolve yourself today that you're going to dominate. That you're not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're gonna dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play. And that takes some intestinal fortitude. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided I'm gonna be a player. I decided at some point I get to choose who I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. I write these chapters. You don't need the world's permission. You don't need anyone's permission to be great. Only permission you need is from who stares at you back in the mirror every day and a willingness to do the hard work longer, harder, and better than anyone. So what are you going to do? Are you going to buy another success program looking for the secret recipe that doesn't exist? Or are you going to go do something right now and do something that brings you closer to greatness? That's your choice. You're going to have more days you don't want to do something than you are going to want to. Most days, you're not going to be pumped up. Most days, you're going to feel weak. Most days, you're going to want to stay in bed. Most days, you're going to feel like most people do. But if you do what most people do, which is give yourself reasons to not get the tasks done, not get to work, not get out of bed, you're going to end up like most people, barely getting by, being unhappy with their lives. You got to make a different decision. You got to decide enough is enough. You've had enough of being average and ordinary. You're tired of being mediocre. You're now going to push yourself. It's going to feel better when it's over. You know that when you get done doing the hard thing, it's going to feel better. Waking up, working out, taking care of some tedious task. You know you will feel better when it is done. You also know that if you don't do the hard thing, the thing that you don't want to do, that you don't feel like doing, you know if you don't do it, you're going to feel inferior. You know you're going to feel weak. And that feeling, that horrible feeling, you know that feeling too. You know it. You know it's true. Those are the two outcomes. One will cause you some short-term gratification. You'll get to sleep a little bit more. You won't have to put out during a workout. You don't have to do this tedious task. You'll get some short-term gratification, but the long-term regret will be strong. And it will inflict pain on you. Successful people do one thing more than others. Make movement. They get it done. While most people are slacking off, relaxing, wasting their time, the winners in the world are putting in work. Studying their craft, practicing, running drills on how to perform better, putting in all those extra hours when everyone's already gone home. And of course you'll get tired, you'll get worn out, you'll feel exhausted and lazy and not want to work, and you'll have some really, really rough days. But when that happens, you got to tell yourself, I will not stop. I don't care what I have to go through. I'm going to get this done, no matter what. 
You do what you know you need to do to move forward. And when you do that thing, you know you're gonna feel strong and you're gonna feel gratified and you're gonna feel worthy of this life. That's how you're gonna feel when you do what you're supposed to do. Remember that. Remember that the pain right now will absolutely pay off in the future. And the capitulation and the conceding defeat to weakness, that will absolutely result in the pain of regret and remorse later. You know this to be true, so don't allow it. Remember the feeling of victory that comes from doing the right thing, the hard thing. Remember that feeling and then go get it done. The work comes before the belief. You're gonna have to do some work and you're gonna have to keep doing it consistently even when you're not seeing the results, even when you feel like giving up. And eventually, results will begin to sprout as you do this. And when that happens, you're gonna build faith, build belief in what it is you're doing. You start to realize, hey, I can really do this. This is actually working. And as you work more, more success sprouts. You're going to start to create something. You have no motivation, you have no drive, you have no ambition, but you're gonna force it to happen anyway because that's what bad do and that's what you are. You're going to go through day by day by day doing the work regardless of how you feel like it. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna see a little bit of a result. And when you see that little bit of result, you're gonna get happy and what's going to happen in your brain is it's going to open up the possibilities for you of what you can actually achieve because now you can clearly see that if I do the work, this result will happen and when this result starts to happen, you get excited and guess what comes with the excitement? The motivation. The inches we need to become dominant in any field of life are all around us. It's in every task, every project, every mission, every day, every second. When you do the small things, how do you do them? Because if you're putting in 120% in those small tasks, I know for sure you're doing it in everything else. It's the people who are willing to do twice as much as anyone else. Those are the people who end up winning. You go the extra mile, you push through the extra round, you do those extra reps. That's what defines if you become first or forgotten. Champions are focused on the goal. They don't have time to be doing stuff that's not gonna help them toward the goal. And so what you're focusing on throughout the course of the day, it has to change. What you're looking at, what you're reading, what you're watching, the conversations you have. You've gotta be focused entirely on your dreams, entirely on your goals. When you're great, you don't just focus on a week, you don't just focus on a month, you don't just focus on a year. You concentrate on the 24 hours that's in front of you and work as hard as possible to nail it. You dominate in the dark. When nobody sees you, when no one knows what you're doing, those late hours and early mornings where you're working your out, nothing feels better than giving everything you have to the grind. And a lot of people are confused as to how high drive, high success people can wake up every day and go at it. It's because they know that even if they feel bad, even if they don't feel like doing it, if they push through just a little bit, just a few more days, they're gonna see something that is gonna start to make them feel good. It's gonna give them belief, it's gonna get them motivation, and it's gonna make them feel like doing this is absolutely worth it, and not only worth it, but exciting. So if you're in this phase where it doesn't feel like it's worth it, where it doesn't feel like it's very fun, just remember, if you keep going and you do not let your feelings dictate what your actions will be, the results will always be there. When you get to sit back and unwind after working yourself to the bone for those goals and dreams, you'll feel a sense of pride you might have never felt before. But you only ever get to that point if you get up and get to work. The time of year, we try to make our dreams come true. But the reality of all that is sacrifice. And those dreams quickly become nightmares. But in those nightmares are where our demons lie. That's the domain in which they know we don't want to go into all those early mornings. It wakes up all these things that we failed at. Those demons are in those nightmares. That's what keeps us from accomplishing our dreams. So this year, their back is turned to the doorway. Because they know you ain't going to the nightmare land, but you're going in there. And when the backs are turned, you're going to rear naked choke them ones out. Every one of them. That's the mentality you must have and always have. People want to find peace immediately. You're going to find peace from going to war with yourself. Make a declaration to yourself.
Declare all out war that you're going to get out of this rut. We are in control of our mind. We believe it's the other way around. No, we put in our minds what we should do. We have to reprogram it and tell us, no, 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 we're good. This sucks, but it's okay. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. In order to begin to reinvent your life, you've got to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort. You really have got to put all of yourself into it. It's very challenging to act, to do those things. There are times when you're looking at it and you say, I know I need to do this, but I don't feel like it. What most of us are looking for is this special feeling of, oh, I feel great this morning. I'm going to get out of bed and get a quick five miles and go to the gym. You're looking for that feeling. Let me tell you one thing, ain't going to come. You have to learn to do when you don't want to do. You're going to bring that savage mentality out of yourself. The animalistic one. You think a savage gets up for how he feels or how she feels? Then it's do it. Learn to be your best self when you're least motivated. Stop looking for a feeling to control what goes on in your life. You should, you should quit quitting. Any path you take to get where you want to be, if that place is worthwhile to go, it's going to be hard. So quit judging your quitting based upon how hard something is. Because every single path that you could possibly take to get somewhere where you want to be is going to be hard. Struggle, pain, misery, frustration, those are signs that you are on the right path and making progress. Nobody that is where you want to be has gotten there without the struggles without the bleeding without the pain without the depression without the misery nobody and if you want to be something great you are going to have to learn to accept the struggle as part of the recipe every single day you need to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself what am i willing to do to get what i want and if the answer is whatever the f i have to you'll get there in time you're setting the example every single day of your life you have to constantly over that machine. The machine is your mind. You gotta keep challenging it every day. The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. You never wanna wake up one day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go, man, I wish I would've listened to my gut. I wish I would've done this thing. You don't wanna live in regret. If there's something you wanna get done in work, your relationships, school, whatever it is, do it. Life is one big head game. And once you learn to play that game, it's no longer a game anymore at all. You can start living your life. You know who's gonna bail me out? You know who's gonna come and rescue me? You know who's gonna come and save the day? No one. I don't have backup. Nobody's coming. Nobody's coming to tell me to turn the TV off. Nobody's coming to get me out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for me. I got to do it all myself. And many of you are not where you're supposed to be. Not because you're not gifted, not because you're not talented. You have absolutely no discipline. You keep cutting yourself slack. You keep telling yourself you did enough. You keep letting yourself off the hook. It's time you punish you. From now on, you're not gonna hold any other human more accountable than you hold yourself. It's high time that discipline became your best friend, your daily companion. It's time to face yourself. You're the only one tripping you up. Look in the mirror and tell yourself, no more messing around. You gotta get real doggish. You gotta get real dirty if you wanna make it. It's these moments where you're tested by life, these decisions we make on a daily basis. Do we get up early and go for a run? Or do we hit the snooze button? Do we go that extra rep in the gym when our body's dying and we push past that? Or do we throw in the towel and give in to the pain? Those inches you need to be number one are around us every single day. It's when you get up that day and do those little tiny things, the little details in life. That's what adds up to be the difference between the champion and average. You think I don't get tired? Of course I do. But I've got reasons bigger than my fatigue. I'm out here setting the pace, making sure every day counts. Cause I'm doing it for my family. I'm doing it for my wife. I'm doing it for my kids. This is my zone. And I'm a Ain't nothing gonna stand in my way. I'll work every day if I have to. Whatever it takes. I need you to think about the people you're doing this for. 
And when that alarm goes off in the morning, you need the thought of those people you're grinding for to be louder than that alarm clock. So when it goes off and you're just not feeling it, you gotta think, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and grind for those people? You have got to push yourself. Your family's counting on you. Your dreams are counting on you. Everything you've ever wanted is counting on you. So all those days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. You don't get to success by quitting when you're tired. You get there by quitting when you're finished, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired, you stop when you're done. Dreams ain't easy. If they were, everyone would have everything they ever wanted. Waking up with zero energy won't cut it. You can't outsmart the grind. Some days, you just gotta have the grit and the hustle to get your up and get to work. You don't make millions just cause you're talented or skilled. You make millions cause you execute. You've been taking your sweet ass time and that sh has gotta stop. You can't afford to move at a snail's pace in a world that's racing by. You're not a bad person for it, but you'll remain in the middle of the pack if you can't pick up the pace. It's time to kick it into high gear. You dedicate yourself to the daily grind, even when the high of motivation wears off. Success is always full price every single time. There are no discounts, no markdowns. It's gonna cost you sweat, blood, and tears. So quit looking for the easy way out. There isn't one. Discipline is about doing what you hate, doing the sh that makes you uncomfortable, that pisses you off. But you grit your teeth and get it done like it's your passion. It's about embracing the suck, lacing up those boots when you'd rather be kicking them off. It's dragging you out of bed when the blankets feel like a cozy cocoon of comfort, but you rise up anyway because there's work to be done. That feeling of dread, that resistance, it's a sign that you're on the right track because real growth doesn't happen in the comfort zone. It happens in the trenches, in the grind, where every move is a battle. It's easy to do what you love. It's a whole other ball game to do what you hate with the intensity and drive as if you love it. That's the essence of true discipline. It's not about mood or feelings. It's about commitment. It's about saying, my feelings, I've got a mission and I'm not leaving until it's done. You won't always stay motivated. There's gonna be times where you're dragging ass and all you wanna do is collapse and go eat like crap. You have to learn to get yourself up and moving when it's the last thing in the world you wanna be doing. See, that's what separates people. It's the difference between the dreamers and the doers, between the people who talk a good game and those who play to dominate. Regret weighs tons, but discipline weighs ounces. It's much easier to look back on a life full of discipline, knowing you made the right choice in the moment, rather than looking back on a life full of excuses, full of regret. Regret that you didn't pay the price for greatness. Discipline doesn't give a flying about what you feel like doing. It's the relentless, unwavering force that keeps you moving forward when everything else screams for you to stop. It's doing the work, the hard, gritty, soul-testing work. And not just enduring it, but owning it like a boss. You make it happen. You get it done. Because that's who you are. A person of action, a person of your word. You stay true to what you said you'd do, not for glory, not for applause, but because that is the standard you hold yourself to. Long after the mood has left, you're still there, grinding, pushing, striving, because that's what it takes. That's integrity, that's honor, that's real power. And you have that power within you. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. Your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when you're going through hard times, you're going through death, real life sh You're alone. There's 24 hours in a day where you're alone in this brain and your brain is talking to you in all kinds of ways and it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're you got to tell your brain where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control it. If not, it's over. Where the warriors 
that say, I'm gonna make a decision and I'm keeping it. And regardless of how you feel about it, it doesn't matter if the world is crumbling or down around you. It doesn't matter what's happening. Just do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Oh, I don't feel so good today. Get your lazy sick out of bed. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. Habits are the building blocks of our lives. It's what you do every single day that matters more than anything. Devote yourself to something bigger. Be decisive about what you're going to do. Say, I'm going to do it and that's it. And then be disciplined about getting it done every single day whether you feel like it or not. Greatness will cost you something. It's going to cost you some time. It's going to cost you some energy. It's going to cost you some sacrifice. It's going to cost you some resources. It's going to cost you some hours of your life laying down, paying the price, going the extra mile, doing what other people are not willing to do. Greatness is not cheap. Greatness always costs more. That's why there's not many people who achieve greatness. They're not willing to pay the price. That's the kind of attitude you need. That's the attitude of a winner, is I will do whatever it takes. Don't be a wimpy person who's afraid of everything hard. Do not take the easy way out. You need to train that instinct, your instinct. Train it to say, get up, go, fight on. Get your brain in shape. Put your brain through the paces. Rid your fat brain of fear, doubt, self-loathing, intimidation, get rid of it. Don't you let another motherfucker put his or her limitations on you. Nobody can tell you what they can't do but you. If at the end of the day you want to achieve something that other people have not been able to achieve, you've got to be willing to do things that other people are not willing to do. Where other people bend and break, you've got to get stronger. Where other people fall by the wayside, you've got to keep going. You've got to set the bar ridiculously high and then surpass all expectations. In your life's journey, there will come times that put your spirit to the ultimate test. You'll be tempted to break, to let go, to descend into madness. You'll feel isolated in the hardest of trials. And what you choose to do in solitude is your only companion. That's where true learning happens. It's in the silent moments, when you're all alone, where your response to life's challenges truly shapes you. The true measure of your character isn't taken when life is easy and all is going well, but rather at those moments when you're faced with trials and storms, when everything goes dark for you. The thing is about darkness though, is most people freak out when things get dark. When they're in the dark and can't see, they start panicking and don't know what to do or where to go. But what you need to do is be willing to sit patiently in that darkness, assess what's happening, and become used to the challenge of that darkness. If you do that, your eyes will begin to adjust to the dark and you will see exactly the way you should go to make progress. You gotta become comfortable with the pain. Stare it straight in the face. Don't run from it anymore. Stand still and let it run from you. When things go wrong, when you run out of money, when things don't work out for you, when the people you care about leave you, what keeps you going? If all you're doing it for is a house or a car, that can stop you. You'll give in so quickly. But when you're doing it because of something within you is burning to do it, when you're doing it for the people you love, when you're doing it for your family, when you're doing it for the pride of who you are, no mountain, no trial, no tribulation can stop you. You cannot be broken anymore. Strength is easy when untested, but it's when adversity strikes, when you're hit hard by loss, ailment, injustice. It's in these times that your spirit is refined. No matter how rocky the path, it's nothing but a journey to a greater version of yourself. 
You can't reach new heights without the climb. You can't enjoy the sunshine without enduring the storm. No one's coming to save you, but you can save yourself. You can pull yourself out of the sewer of life. Anything you focus your mind on, you have the ability to change. You don't like the way your life is going. You're the only one who can change it. You don't have to be an alcoholic. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be anything you don't want to be if you just decide within yourself to change your mind. When it feels like everything is working against you, that is your greatest moment to show the whole world what you're capable of doing. This is the time you present your tenacity, your endurance, your strength to the world. I don't care who you are. I don't care what position you're in. I don't care what it looks like to people. You can come back again. You're not done. You gotta stand up for yourself. You may be embarrassed, but stand up. You may feel like crying, but stand up. You may feel like it's all over already, but stand up. You may not see a way out of all this mess, but stand up. The more you fight, the more you keep coming back, the more you'll realize how much energy, how much resourcefulness, how much power you have left in you. You don't judge your entire life based on your current circumstances. Your current circumstances are temporary. You will not be where you are now for the rest of your life. Things will get better, and you gotta keep in the back of your mind at all times. No matter what I go through, I must not give up. Expect me to come back. I don't know how long it'll take, but expect me to come back. I don't know what I'll have to go through, but expect me to come back. I don't know what I'm gonna lose along the way, but expect me to come back. It's the chaos of the time that creates a conqueror in the person. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with what's happening to them and rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toe to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm gonna do it anyway. Do you not know that where you are will pass? What you're worried about will pass. One day you're gonna look back and laugh at the thing that kept you up all night. One day you'll see that it was not nearly as major as you thought it was. There's more in you right now than what's represented in your bank account. There's more in you right now that's being reflected by your life right now. Your life at this time isn't a true reflection of your potential. You are a walking goldmine of talents, abilities, ideas. Do you ever dream of doing something like starting your own business? Mastering a skill? That's the real you knocking on the door of your mind, hinting that there's so much more to dig into. Your life right now might be on one level, but you've got so many more levels of potential stacked up inside you, ready to be unlocked. You've got to be cautious and careful of the voice going on inside your head. You've got to constantly monitor that internal dialogue. Whenever you feel a negative tone of voice playing in your head, I want you to shut it down and reinforce your brain with positivity. Telling yourself, I got what it takes. Today is my day. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna do it, and nothing will stand in my way. I have enough power, I have enough persistence, I have enough perseverance to make it happen. The things you're saying to yourself determine whether you win or lose. What you say to yourself has all the world to do with how far you can go. Your attitude determines your aptitude. What you feed your mind will either be the fuel for your success or the poison for your failure. Your attitude isn't just a small player in the game of life. It's the coach, the quarterback, and the crowd that's either cheering you on or booing you down, shaping how high you can climb or how flat you can fall. If you believe you're a winner, your actions will align to that belief. If you tell yourself you can overcome, your brain starts working overtime to make that a reality. Where focus goes, energy flows. So if you're telling yourself that there is a way through this, you will look for solutions. But if you believe you're doomed, you'll only see roadblocks. Every 
time you catch yourself slipping into negativity, shut that sh down. Replace I can't with I will, I might with I must, I hope with I know. Your words are a self-fulfilling prophecy, so speak victory, speak courage, speak success. When life hits you, don't back down, buck back. Life's not always gonna go easy on you. It will strip you to your core and test you on every level. The amount of pressure it'll pile on you will try to destroy you. Do not allow that. This is no time to lose your head. This is no time to quit. This is no time to faint. This is no time to collapse. This is no time to give in. Decide within you that I will get something out of this pain. I'm gonna push through it. I'm gonna push through when it gets tough. I'm gonna push through when I get tired. I'm gonna push through when it's not convenient. I'm gonna push through when my heart is broken. I'm gonna push through when I get rejected. I'm gonna push through when I'm broke. No matter what happens to me, I am going to push through it. That means that you might have been kicked, you might have been shoved, and might have been shot, but you're still standing, ready to fight whatever comes at you. Getting successful, it's not a magic trick. You have a say-so in that. You can decide to be rich, but you first have to think it. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is here. You have to change this. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. So if you're in a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. But you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. And it's not dependent on anybody else. It don't matter what your mama think. It don't matter what your co-workers think. It don't matter what your siblings think. It don't matter what your children think. It don't matter. They have nothing to do with it. This decision is yours and yours alone. Never let anybody tell you that you can't. A lot of time as a leader, a lot of time as a business builder, a lot of time as a craftsperson. You will have an idea for a business or a product where the rest of the world says that's impossible. But we have to be coming from a place from within where our I can is larger than our I can. You absolutely must do the interior work required when you have these fiery levels of confidence where when the world is saying, you know what, I dismiss your vision. Well, that is impossible. You have to be that lone voice who goes, no, you know what? It is possible. And just watch me do it. I am not going to allow anything to shake me. I'm not going to allow anything to stop me. I'm not going to allow anything to stop my happiness and my growth. you got to live beyond reality. Even before you do it, see yourself doing it. Even before you accomplish it, see yourself accomplishing it. Your perception is everything, not your circumstances, not your situation. It's how you see it. And if you can learn to see it correctly, if you can learn to just get past the pain, get past the little hurt, and if you can learn to see it properly, I guarantee you could be what you want to be. You can have what you want to have. You can do what you want to do. It's hard to process information during pain because that pain takes over and you can't think rationally. You're thinking about fight or flight, save yourself. That's not a rational thought. It's not a thought that's going to get you through hard times. When you quit, your mind says, we're done. So it doesn't expand. There's no expansion when you quit. You will not find toughness in a comfortable environment. The only way you find it is to drown yourself in a position where you're just out of sorts, where you can't swim and you're drowning. You're drowning in life. You're now in like, I got to get out of here. You're in fight or flight. It's cold. I can't be cold this long. And then this is where that one second decision comes in. You forgot every reason why you wanted to be there. All you want to do is go back home. You want the warmth. You may want something to eat. All those things of comfort are there in that one second. What you have to do in that one second is say, you know what, man? Dad, I'm going to figure out how to backstroke or something. It's about gaining control of your mind, putting things back in the proper perspective, and then saying, I really do want to be here 
and I'm going to have a bunch of these one seconds and I have to learn to control these because if I fail one of these one seconds, I will not be a doctor, I will not be a lawyer, I will not be whatever it is. When you say this sucks, I'm drowning, I'm miserable, I'm suffering, I'm broken, but I'm not going anywhere. What happens to your mind, it says he's not leaving. So we got to expand. We got to grow. We got to figure this thing out. These compartments in your brain, they have to work. And then you start to engage parts of your mind that you never engaged before. When you're in suffer mode and you say, I'm not going to quit. You're forcing your brain now to operate on a level it's not used to. But then it becomes used to it. If you want to take the island, burn the boats. When you burn the boats, you tap into a level of drive, determination, and courage that you may have never experienced before. You become unstoppable. If you're tired of starting over, stop quitting. If your life at times feels like, looks like labor, you are doing it right. Keep on pushing. I'm telling you what, there is breakthrough coming, and when you're holding your prize, the pain and the suffering will pale in comparison. Don't give up! It will be worth it! Life is 10% what happens to you, 90% how you react. And I'm telling you, the way to ignite the dream is you gotta shut out every single thing, and you gotta believe I am the greatest. If you're willing to fight your way through, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through that divorce, fight your way through whatever comes up against you on the other side is a better life. Don't let this negative world get to you. Don't let it win. You got to have your back against the wall and give yourself no way out. Because when it's do or die, you'll find a way to do it. And I'm saying to you, what if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no or we have a meeting and no one shows up or somebody say you can count on me and they don't come through nobody believes in you you've lost again and again and again the lights are cut off but you're still looking at your dream reviewing it every day and say to yourself it's not over until i win see what you become in the process is more important than the dream that's far more important the kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's just something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. When people know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life, you knew it was hard, but you did it hard.